Okay. Maybe. Is anybody there? Am I, am I online? I am live. Okay, cool. Anyways. Yeah, just um, one to bring to you today because, well, I'm planning on building a second PC. Um, because I plan on, uh, I do plan on upgrading my processor to the 3700X. Um, yeah, and so therefore, my old processor is going to be open, so nice excuse to, uh, build a new PC. So, this is just going to be chill, might not be, you know anything too special, but, um, if you join in, I really do appreciate it, um, and here's something new, you can actually see me in the camera, um, I finally got a webcam, um, so yeah, um, I also do have Geo from Aimless Geeks here, he is currently putting his kid to bed, but he'll be back in a little bit. Um, so yeah, right now I'm looking at, uh, looking at a case. I kind of want to go with a mini ITX build. Um, but I don't know exactly what I want. Eh, let's see. Okay, so... Hmm. Let's see if I can find any kind of reviews for this. I want a relatively cheap case. I don't want to spend a lot. No more than a hundred bucks. If I can get it below eighty, that would be perfect. But I still want something nice. Um. Heart, ooh. Uh, um, let's see. Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Answers. Today's video, we're going to be building a system in the Metallic Gear Neo Mini. And then after that, we're going to take a look at the thermals. Now, to figure out how well it does thermally in the case, right, first we're going to 6600 gig, 100 case scenario on a test bench, 64. Wait, where's the with a, supply We're going to so? test everything outside of the case. The system specs SF600. Oh, this no. case technically takes a full size ATX Man, power supply. Nope. I don't want my power supply up on the top. No, thank you. Not getting this case. Um, another one that I was looking at. See, I was looking at. I have the Define R6, um, which I really, really like. Uh, let me show you that. <laughs> As you can, well, if you can, okay, yeah, as you can see, that stupid thing's plugged into it, but yeah, I custom painted it, um, this is my Define R6, it might be kind of hard to see through the webcam, but, um, I did custom paint it. Well, my good friends at Requested Everywhere custom painted it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, pretty much, I really do like that case. So, therefore, um, I'm going to, I think I might go with Fractal Design again. Okay, let me put my 
tab cam back up. All right, there we go. There we go. All right. So, so far, um, I picked out the ASRock B450M. Because I do like my ASRock boards. My Tai Chi, X470 at Tai Chi, is working wonderfully. Um, so, I, I haven't had any issue with it. Um, and I kind of want something with a little bit of, a little bit of flashiness. Um, well, let's see what they got. What else, uh, we have in this area. Okay, let's go down to form factor. Uh, micro TI. I want something with a little bit of flashiness, not too much. Uh, I think that's probably my best perform. It's got pretty good performance. I've looked up uh, the VRMs and all that. And it's a pretty solid board. I wonder what they have in X470. I know they don't have a lot in... Uh, Mini ITX. There's 25? Yeah, see, for X470 there's not... Very. Uh, it's not anything that really shouts budget here, so I guess we're going with B450. And how did the B450 boards? Wow, guys, that is a great price. Um, if you're watching this right now and you want to pick up an X470 board, I've heard this board also will handle 3000 series without an issue. So, um, that is a good price if you're watching this within the next four hours. Um, I'm sure it will go back down because, uh, yeah. But, wow, I tell you, this is the board I'm running right now, and it is an excellent board. Um, had no problem overclocking, RAM overclocking, had no problem getting it up to, actually I got it up to 3200, uh, 3400 was mostly stable, but had a few quirks, um... But yeah, it, it's a wonderful board. Um, I don't know much about overclocking either. So I'm sure if you actually knew what you were doing, you could probably push your overclock a lot more <laughs> than I could. I think I'm running at uh, 4.2, um, which is pretty normal for the 2600. Um... Yeah, I'm just not trying to spend... Mm. I'm not trying to spend a lot on a secondary board. Because I already have my beastly um, build. Well, it's not beastly, but it's good enough for uh, high-end gaming. Um, 1440. I run 1440. Uh... 144 hertz. I run a 1070 Ti. I don't hit the whole 144 uh, frames per second. Uh, most games I'll hit anywhere from like 70 to 80. Um, so yeah. So 
in many ITX lands, um, or what am I? Am I? Hey, does this have Wi-Fi? Well, it's gonna be upstairs. I won't need Wi-Fi. <laughs> no, I don't think this board has Wi-Fi. Excuse me. Oh, it's got USB type C, display port, HDMI port for uh, APUs. Uh, is there any that do have Wi Fi? I would like Wi Fi, but it's not a huge. Yeah, I'll just have to get a, uh, I'll just get a Wi-Fi card. It's not a big deal. Um, because it's mostly going to be ran upstairs in our living room, which is like Gamer Central. Um, another reason that I'm building this second computer, uh... You know, I have my main computer up in the living room um, with everyone else uh, right now because I, I mean, I'm kind of torn between having it upstairs or downstairs in my room where I can kind of just be alone. Um, but I'm kind of torn between wanting to socialize and game. But sometimes you just want to be by yourself, so this is why I'm building the second computer, so I can put it up in the living room and have my main computer downstairs. Um, so yeah. But I'm pretty set on the B450M Steel Legend. Um, it's got everything I'm going to need. Um, I'm only putting a 2600X in it, so... From my research, the VRMs are just fine on it. Um, easily, we'll be able to handle a 4.2 overclock. Uh, going up to 4.2. <sighs> so there's the then there's the case. Um, this is where I kind of want to get uh, Geo's take on the whole thing. Um, I have the full-size version of this case, and I really like the Fractal Design case. Wonderful case. Um, let's see, it's got storage for two each, each for two hard drives, SSDs at the top. Um, it's either gonna go with this one, or I might go with the def uh, the Meshify Mini. Get a little bit more airflow. I mean, this is probably what I'd go with the white one. Um. It's pretty much the same chassis with a open front. You know what? I think that's what I'm going to get. Take. Remove that. That's a little cheaper. Not by much. Not enough to really. Um. am I going to need? I'm going to need... Eh, power supply is going to be pretty... 
let's look at RAM. How's what's RAM looking like right now? I know it's been super cheap over the last um, little. Oh, excuse me. Over the past few weeks, um, and I've heard it's only going to go up. Uh, I mean, I don't have any concrete sources for that, so do not uh, quote me on that. Um, but just kind of worries me that it's this low. It can only last so long. Oh, yeah. I forgot to put it in my Discord that I'm streaming. to join us there's a link right up there at the top of the screen it's right over here or nope uh, uh, no, uh, 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 I, I think I'm pointing at it eh. Eh. it's right over there on the top join us we're a awesome bunch all right so as of now I'm under 200 bucks for the case and the motherboard <sighs> like I said ram 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 desktop memory Don't need anything too crazy. We got the Vengeance. Of course, they're Vengeance. See, I want at least thirty three thousand. I'd probably get it in white because I'll probably do a white and black build. Um, so yeah, 32 gigabytes of. Or no, I don't need 32 gigs. What am I saying? I need 16 gigs. What do you mean? See options to continue. Okay, there we go. So, uh, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX is going to cost me 70 bucks, which is just insane. Um, so, I got RAM down. What else do I need? Let's let's take a look at SSDs because I know they have went down a lot. Um, do 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 do. Okay. Oh, oh, components, come on. SSDs. I think I'm just gonna go with the good old 2.5 inch. Uh, and I would like to stay. What are we talking about? Well, right now I'm on the SSDs. Which SSD I want? Now, this is going to be for more like...
your like what kind of PC are you building exactly here? This isn't your main rig, right? No, this will not be my main rig. This is going to be my upstairs. Okay. So, this is going to kind of quell my whole dilemma of... Okay, so right now I have my PC upstairs. Mm -hmm. um, in the living room. Um, because I want to be social, you know? I want to be hang out with everybody in the living room. Um, but there's times when I just want to be, you know, just chill downstairs by myself. And so, uh, I was like, you know what, might as well, why don't I build a second PC for upstairs, put my ra main rig downstairs, or vice versa. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um... So, yeah, it's going to be a secondary rig. Um, it's just going to be, like, I'm going to probably get a 1080p monitor. Um, nothing too crazy. Possibly a 144 hertz monitor if they're, because they are getting pretty cheap. Um, but it's going to be, it's going to be a pretty low, not low, but, uh, the higher end of the low end <laughs> that I'm doing. It's going to be entry level, mid level, <laughs> so to say. Uh, where'd you go? Okay, but what I was going to say about SSDs is, like, there's not a huge difference between your regular, like, SATA SSD and your M.2 in terms of gaming. You're literally shaving off, like, maybe a second yeah, between, I'm like... Not, I'm not, I'm not going to mess with M.2. I have, I have a 970 EVO in my, um, my main rig. I have a 256 gigabyte for Windows. Eh, probably don't need it, but I already have it. Um, but no, I'm going, I'm not going M.2 on this build. Um, I, I, I might go M.2. I don't know. Let's see. Does the board I'm looking at have M.2? I mean, these days you could honestly get like a super cheap um, SSD for your like operating system. That's pretty much it. Well, that's what I'm going to do. I mean, e even like a 500 gig SSD like isn't too like expensive. Um, well, M.2s are about the same price when you look at them. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah. Huh. I'm going to get in group videos so you can see. Oh, you're already here. I need to be. Well, I, I am watching the stream, so. <laughs> well, this way you'll be able to see it in real time. Um, Not like 20 seconds behind? Yes. Okay. And do you see me? Yes, yes, I see you. Okay. Let's see. Does this not have an M.2 slot? I think it does, right there. Let's see. Yeah, it's got one M.2. Let's 
so let's see. Let's see. Let's look at a uh, 500 gigabyte M.2. Now, what have you heard about the WD Blue uh, SSDs? I haven't heard too much, uh, except for, like, I don't remember if it was SanDisk or, like, um, PNY, but, like, the WD Blue are just, like, rebranded versions of those for your regular, like, SATA SSD. So between all of, between all of those, just get like the cheapest one, honestly. Oh, well, because it's gonna be for my OS. So I was thinking something like this: five hundred gigabyte WD Blue. Yeah, well, that's sixty look. bucks. That's that's not bad for like a SSD, mm -hmm. honestly. Yeah. And let's look uh, five hundred. Gigabyte SSD. Yeah, they're actually, it's actually because it's on sale, but. Yeah, they're usually about the same price when they're not on sale, even. See? Wait, that's actually a little cheaper because it's. That's kind of funny that the, like, M.2 version is cheaper. M.2 is just a different, but that's probably what I'd do right here. Probably go with this one. Let's add that to cart. Then I am going to need three terabyte HDD. So, yeah. Another. <coughs> now, what exactly are you doing in terms of graphics, though? I don't know yet. That's what I kind of wanted to get your opinion on. Because you currently have the 1070 Ti, right? Yes, I do. Uh, I forgot what, what that was equivalent to these days. Uh, let's I think take it's a more look. More like a twenty sixty. The twenty sixty six gig. Hmm. 1070 Ti. Yeah, you're right to run the 2060. Yeah. So, but I don't need anything nearly as powerful in here. Um, all I need is something that's going to handle 1080 at pretty, and my secondary rig. Mm-hmm. I think probably just a 1660, honestly. I think the base 1660 is going for fairly cheap. So, the 1660 is going for $207. Yeah. A smaller card would be nice. No, the one I'm looking at is an EVGA, like, you know, single fan design. Oh, nice. Um, and the EVGA cards have been really nice, like, even the cheap ones, because they have such, like, massive coolers on them and everything, well, that e even with a, like, a, a pretty decent overclock on it, it still runs really quiet. I'm seeing anywhere from like 229. What about this? I 
I mean, it's it's not that much extra to have like you know a dual fan design. It technically would run run quieter with two two fans. So what are you looking at? Which one are you looking at? I'm looking Still at have caps lock on. Is this EVGA right here? To be honest, I was just looking whatever sales like um, Google was listing up. Oh. Let's see, sixteen sixty, EVGA. So you think the dual fan card would be better? Like a small dual fan. I mean, just make sure to kind of check the measurements of the case and the card. Yeah. Okay, so that sixteen sixty from EVGA, like this, the small one is going for two hundred seven on Amazon. Oh wow! Yeah, because when I go to buy this, of course, I'm gonna do. I'll look at the best price. <laughs> So I'm looking at about two hundred twenty nine dollars, two hundred bucks, ish. I mean, if you're that concerned about like just space, just get the single fan. And I do love that the massive killer that they put on the EVGA card. Well, link this. Which one are you talking about? All right, one second. Uh, single fan. I think there you this go. Is it. Yep, that's it. Uh, the XC Black Edition. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the Black Edition? It's oh, you're still on New Egg. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, look at the pictures to see if you can see the. Uh, there's Heat 1830 side. and 1785. So the S XC is a little hot, very slightly more clocked. Um, so the XC gaming and the regular oh, XC black. Yes, that would be perfect. Like I said, EVGA did not really cheap out on the killer, and I love them for it. Yes. I mean, I have the 1660 Ti, but if you know, I didn't have as much of a budget as I did at the time, I probably would have gone with this. Man. Yeah, I probably would still go with the XC Black just because, like, it's still the same killer and everything, and you should be able to reach that overclock, no problem, honestly. Yeah. It's the exact same killer. Same card, just the other one uh, is, like, has a slight overclock on it. So, I was thinking I'm gonna go with the Mesh 5C, the Mini. Okay. Or. Uh, Wait, is that the mini? Oh um, no, that's not the mini. But it's almost mini. That's <laughs> almost mini. Hold on, my kid's in the fridge, and I'm just kind of scared of what he's doing. Hopefully he doesn't have, like, mustard oil over his face or something.
Wow, kids are just ridiculous. I I, I caught him like um chewing on a coconut. <laughs> okay. And, and and then he runs off. I check the fridge and he has his uh, stuffed animal sitting on like the bottom shelf of the fridge. Like, aren't you supposed to be in bed and he just runs off? Alright, so what did we decide on for the uh, graphics card? Uh, the EVGA one. Yeah, I've seen quite a few people like test that specific card out and like and that thing does really well, honestly. Because I don't feel like eventually I might get a at the twenty eighty super at seven hundred bucks is damn tempting. If I can say that. Seven hundred dollars. I can build a computer for that much. <laughs> well, I said I want to go fourteen forty p, one hundred forty four hertz. I like, I want to take full advantage of it. Well, to be honest, I can do like fourteen forty p on the sixteen sixty Ti. Not at one hundred forty four frames per second. Eh, depends on the game. I get up like 120, sometimes 160. Hmm. Why does my 2070 only get like freaking 80 in GTA? Seriously? Yeah, on 1440p, yes. I mean, it's probably just the way that the GTA, like, is graphics engine is made. Because, like, in GTA, like, the game is rendering quite a bit. There we go. I'm going to get this yellow thing. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so bad. I mean, if you were going for a race car theme, that might actually look good. Yeah, but from what I can see, it's got nowhere to put cables. That... Is exceptionally small. Like, look, it doesn't look like there's much room to put cables back there. Like, damn, like, you honestly would have to modify that to make it more viable. They probably or did some Photoshop of some cables here. I mean, they had to have. It definitely looks like it. They, or they didn't even put the cables in. That's true, too. Like, look how nice this looks. It's like, I don't believe you. Kind of want to keep it below 80 bucks on the case. The NZXT mini ones look kind of good. I like them in the mini form factor. The N2 Evolve mini. Yeah. Uh, let's see. You know what I miss? My mini case. The freaking The dual chamber designs. <laughs> Node 804. If I just want to no frills box. I mean, that's really more for a media PC, like something that's not going to be like you know, running hot at all. Like, no need for an overclocked type of computer. Even this looks. Like, it could be good. 
that one's actually pretty decent. Like it doesn't look like it's getting airflow, but if you look at the side vents, it's getting plenty of airflow. I do like Oh this. that that cable writing's nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how they put the whole I haven't had an NZXT in a while. I just don't understand why they don't put another fan slot there. I mean, for looks, it'd be nice, but with in like ITX, like motherboard and everything, one fan is plenty to like you know go over the VRMs and such. Black and white build. Oh, you can put a 240 in the front. Look at that. Now, it, this is probably a stretch, but it doesn't look like there's any room on the top. Yeah. I'm not seeing. No, it doesn't look like there's a bracket for it up there. Oh no, it'd have to go in the front. In the small of a case. Cause like in this type of case, if I'm if you're gonna use a water cooler, I'd be worried about the type of like um air your G GPU would be getting. Let's see. Yeah, that friggin' metallic gear was a big no no. Because of this. Why right is of course here. <laughs> No. You know, I was looking at that metallic gear and I'm like, oh man, that would be cool. But no. What is that called? H200 Mini? XT H200. See what hard work knows. You know, I love me a large ITX enclosure and the N60 H200i is finally here. It's just a mini iteration of the H700i. Check it out over here. But in order to answer if it's Fred worthy, we need to first rewind. God darn you, Dimitri. You and your plants. Okay, at, at first it, it was kind of cute. It was, it was endearing almost. Now it just seems to so have a really exciting ITX enclosure <laughs> that's supposed to hit my doorstep and I'm just excited to see more ITX options in 2018. But why is it that majority of companies that make ITX cases are ballooning yeah, them up? Of his videos it seems like the industry to the is now. going in reverse and trying to make them as large as possible so it can accommodate the most hardware, but I don't that? think that's the right approach. Maybe. You could say the same thing about the intro. So let's check out the H200i and what it brings to the table right after this. The new is, master is that the, the Pro 4? Uh, because I know the Pro 4 is massive. Something a little bit more to follow for color coordination because the $29 only slightly tinted and the major right on the corner there deep air pocket behind the front panel and the slightly angled ventilation on both sides that actually has a purpose so for the glass part it's uh, part of the frame so it doesn't protrude only the thumb screws do and you can use that slight angle area to pop out the glass panel with your fingers while on the other side it helps to secure the right side panel the rear side panel has captive thumb screws, so that's awesome. And instead of you kind of inserting the panel on all sides, you just insert it at the front because we have these pegs and they go right over here, making reinstallation of the panel a bit easier. And that way you can actually kind of compress the cables that are behind it because the panel does pretty much all the job for you. Now, I generally don't mind the four thumb screw method on the tempered glass side panel, but the threading here is so short that every time I open one of these up, they tend to just simply fall out and roll away forever. Uh, yep. the is, oh, there it is, yep. there it is, there it is. 
the IO is basic <laughs> with purple USB 3 ports, illuminated power button, and the IO cables are already bunched up in this super easy to install connector. Be I really like, wish kind of misses this was the standard videos. for all. Wait, that is cool. What? The front panel connector. Look at that. It's all one connector. Why don't more that... people do that? Because they have to keep the perception that building a PC is hard. Uh... All cases. Up top we have a cool exhaust perforation for a 120mm fan and a built-in dust filter. Since the fan is already pre-installed, it's kind of nice, but accessing it for cleaning I mean, will be it seems like a solid Now the case is case. large because we have a roomy power supply chamber with support for standard ATX units and a bracket is pre-installed for SFX power supplies too and there's I mean, a dust I filter underneath. Like a dust there are only two PCI slots. The rear 120mm fan can be moved down slightly and behind the front panel is all of our airflow goodness with a removable dust filter filter and the fan bracket that you pull out after four I mean, thumbs now it only time? supports up to a 240 millimeter radiator oh, no. or dual 140 millimeter fans oh, and that the bracket is, nice. is non-symmetrical so there's only one correct way to install it with two height positions so for it's just not lining up so the lack of a 280 millimeter radiator support is totally understandable no, given the well. size of the enclosure but initially when i found out it wouldn't support my x62 i was like why and going back and the feeling a little bit like a hypocrite because I want things to be smaller, but yet I question why it can't support certain hardware. So as you can see, I have the X62 right uh, next to the front of the case, and you can see the height here. If this was to support it, they would have to either move the front I.O. or extend the height of the case because it's just, I mean, it's almost as tall as the case itself. And therefore, you know, 240 only at the front. And I yeah, totally you might want to put like so coming inside. I love the power supply table. shroud and the cable cover. I think for this side, what? Uh, to put Ryzen 2600X in the title, that's going in your second PC. Oh. Size of the case, this division creates now, what, what case perfect this perfect as the ITX board does not yeah. extend beyond the cover. And hopefully, you are occupying the front with the radiator. I love how it wraps like in front below of the top fan and extends around the motherboard cable area and flattens out near oh, the GPU section. Bad. It does fill up the space quite a bit and it can be removed for some breathing room. Oh. At the front we have 89mm of clearance so you can do push-pull setups but then GPU clearance becomes a concern as with my configuration a 27cm GPU okay, is 1cm so away from the radiator. Now unlike on like the bigger cases inches for the graphics card even with the front right eater in. Oh, dog barking. Okay. No, no, you calm down, Dougie. This uh, SSD caddy on the side cannot be repositioned to the perforation on the shroud on a smaller model because for the pump speed. However, the fans are connected to the smart hub, 
So at least that is controllable to me. That's the a area second around wrench. the motherboard <laughs> is well laid out for all the cables with a long cutout on the shroud to pass anything below. And my only complaint are with these four thumb screws for the GPU mount. Yeah, it says which upgrading the main PC with Ryzen 3700X and planning the second wrench. And it's annoying. Not okay, rigged. So the entire build process was easy. I'm satisfied with the interior. It doesn't appear too large for the hardware. Hey, we got but reviewer. having SFX only support would make the shroud oh, no. even smaller. Sorry. The built-in LED strip at the top is Sorry more for the black screen. You and give it off nice thing. Says, lighting. And you definitely need to have a radiator oh, at the man, front. Not, Otherwise, the case is not on stream. Really utilized. Cable guidance because at the back is not your tricky ears at all with these plastic Where's channels somewhere? and the large pocket in front and on the side yeah, of the power supply. But no. I will... After watching the video, I don't know. I don't think I'm all that... Hmm. Wonder how many, many. Did you somehow turn off the video for the uh, stream? No, it's still gone. No, it's black on my end. It's showing live on my end. Refresh it. I did. That's weird. Uh, let me see. Nope, still black. I guess it says live, but like it's a black screen. Mm. No, I just refreshed it on my end and it's doing okay. Corsair Vengeance, RG. That's really weird that. Uh, the most okay, other person on stream, yes, can you actually see channel. what's There's happening? Because I can't. It. So it is those are fractal dynamic GP12 fans, by the way. And then for your power supply mount down here at the bottom, uh, it actually has a removable PC 580 graphics card. The CPU cooler is an Enermax ETS T40. The memory is from Come on, another person, that... come through. You're, You're my lifeline. <laughs> That's really weird. All right, so what were we talking about again? Well, um, and I never, I never were looking at the mesh if I see, and we were looking at uh, the one keys from X NZXT. Yeah, I'm still trying to. Uh, 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 I'm still trying <laughs> Words. to figure out a case <laughs> for. No, ah. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, puppy. Do not bark on the people on stream. I'm sure their eardrums would be much happier without dog, dog barking. I wonder how this is. The Q300. Um, it's it's very two packed. It's a little bit two packed, honestly. Like you definitely get plenty of airflow in the front, but it's like whoop, it's a little too compact. Uh. It's all blocked off, too. It, uh, you're getting airflow from the top and the bottom. Oh. Or the front. Mm. Let's see who else. I mean, it, it's hard to get, like, a really pretty case and everything out of, you know, lower than, like, 90 bucks. Uh, Especially if you... Well, if you still want that power supply shroud, that is. Yeah, well, definitely. I'm not gonna have... I want it to look alright. The Crystal 280X. Oh, I just. See, I really like. I really like on the Crystal 280X. 
Mm -hmm. the dual chamber design. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. <sighs> Where, like, the power supply and, like, everything else is in the back. Okay, that is really weird because, like, it's black on my desktop, but on my phone I can see you just fine. Hello good people, hope you're excited. Today is gonna be awesome. My neck feels much better for health. One of the most important things for me has been to prioritize the- Oh, I, I still have bro hollow out. <laughs> All right, good people. So the system is now assembled and the entire experience has been- Don't mind satisfying. the game noises. And I really hope to see more dual chamber layout cases in the future because this whole thing of moving yes, your you hard drives and the power supply to the back of the case instead of a bottom chamber, no. uh, it sure, it widens the case, but in terms of actual like height of the case, it is significantly smaller than your other micro TX uh, cases. And you know, looking there at something go. like this, the next my to the Leon EPC 11, you can definitely see that both of them share that dual chamber layout and are therefore extremely compact cases when compared to standard mid towers. Now, design-wise, this is part of the Crystal series, which means it is loaded with glass panels, the front, the top, and the side. I do like the front glass panel, how it sits on these like pegs at the bottom. It is not removable. I mean, uh, as you long as you can have the front panel you know, in order to reach the dust filter the and glass somewhere, mount, while the top one is mounted via oh, we'll these see. really long thumb screws. Uh, and there you can access a dust filter as well, which I don't understand why it's there because this is to, uh, for your exhaust 2018. anyway. So why would you have they, a dust um, filter the there, especially it's because you have a piece sure. of glass on the top. You can further remove the top plastic piece, which I don't understand why, but uh, yeah, it is separate from the frame itself. Now the glass side panel has the worst mount. Seriously, I'm not sure why Corsair is doing this. There are no pegs that hold the glass in place. So mounting it and removing it is super difficult. It always just falls on the table and it scratches. Furthermore, I mean, it's a pretty the glass ass has case. no black I'll give it that. so you can see the frame underneath. I don't like that. Uh, and the good thing is yeah, they've changed no. are the rubber pegs that I are actually just kind of built into the glass put, mount put back so they there. don't fall out like we saw on previous Corsair cases. The I.O. is basic in the top right corner. We have dual USB 3s, power reset buttons, and audio Chat, decks. You, you have now, the 280X comes in two flavors, the, the standard edition at $110. The Corsair 280X. For micro attacks enclosure. Sure, there's a bunch of glass and two fans included. But the yeah, RGB little, edition, which has two RGB fans bucks. and a lighting node pro that's, that's already pre installed at the back, which is that's very nice. Expensive and you can control for the lighting the of those fans and you can connect other mm -hmm. lighting accessories from Corsair, is a $160 edition. So it's a little pricey for micro ATX market, but I guess it is already niche I mean, anyway. I think that so... message file is starting to look a lot better. But I'm trying. Can you find a video with a mini ITX board in it? Or if I just don't want to go mini ITX. Is that okay? I mean, uh, the portability of mini ITX is definitely nice. Yeah. But the Master 5C is kind of somewhere between. <coughs> Where's that? I wonder if they still sell the Air 240. I'd love that case. So what happened to the Mesh if I see many though? It's only in black. Which might not be a deal breaker. And I already have a white rig. I don't really need another white rig. Can you still get the Air 240? This was a wonderful case. Yeah, I had yeah, I had this case. Hmm. It did have some issues um with having a like an air cooler on there. Like the clearance for it was like yeah. super close. 
like the 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 air cooler would be right up against the glass. I remember that. Mm-hmm. But you're I mean, gonna if you get that with any uh, ATX case, though, uh, you're gonna have clearance issues. I mean, as long as long as you can fit like an all-in-one water cooler in that, it's probably not too bad. Yeah. Hmm. What is really pretty water. Although, uh, here's hoping the wife gives me some notes when she walks in because every time she walks in, my dog decides to have a heart attack. Whatever. So, if I'm in the middle of talking at it, out of nowhere, I go silent. You know why. Oh, ITX. Well, that's a pretty case, but that thing's freaking. That thing's <laughs> hundred and thirty bucks. Yeah, I remember these were not great on airflow, honestly. Like it has that huge fan you think it'd be pretty good, but that front panel really cuts off a lot of airflow. Yeah. Which I suppose if you're getting an I AIO for your CPU would probably be fine. Your GP would suffer though. Mini hex. Hey, that looks like a big case. That one honestly didn't do too bad. It's like really tall. But if you look at the bottom right there, that's vented all the way around. Perfect. Thing's a bitch to build in, I hear. <laughs> you'll hate building it, but you'll love the results. Where's the, I think this is the smaller one. I mean, for people who have, like, very little desk space, I probably would recommend this, though. Just have someone else build it for you, though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's our buddy Fatty from Requested Everywhere. Uh, he's the one. That yeah, he's he's, he's he's not calling people fat. This is what the this is what he goes by. Yes, he he's fully embraced the name Fatty. I mean, if you think if you think about the smart move, if you're already calling yourself fat, oh, wow. it kind of takes the foot out of it for everybody else. You know, that kind of looks like an air conditioning unit. <laughs> well, you know, it's be it's better than the cheese grater. I mean, it does almost look like it just kind of fits in your house. Oh wow. I wonder how bad it is to build in this thing. I'm pretty sure um, Bitwit did it. Like, like, I believe he did a build in that. Yeah. I, even he said it was a pain in the ass to build in it. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's a little expensive. There, there's there's too many pieces. <laughs> I get the Aza Cube. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, for really, I really appreciate it, probably wouldn't get that. That's definitely like more of a showpiece type of thing. Mm-hmm. See you went to high ground gaming. Let's see the mission. If I see many, is eighty two bucks. I might go with that. Want to spend Buku dollars? I don't. Know. Yeah, there yeah. We Jay's go. Jay's two cents had that rig for a while. He honestly made it look really sick. This this is not exactly for a low end computer. <laughs> no, well, he he basically he got the one that had like some like orange pipes or whatever on it, and he made it look almost like a roll cage. I'm kind of thinking about the H200 or the Fractal Design Mini. Um, I think the Fractal Design one, just because, like, the H200, you had that issue with the actual glass panel, like, you know, being scratched up and everything. Now forget, is this a micro ATX build or a mini ITX? It's micro ATX, I think it is. That's a design. A fine mini? I thought that was a... mm, I wouldn't want I don't think I would need all the that hard drive space though. And that kinda like the blocks airflow for the rest of your rig. Mm hmm There was another one though. Another what is it? To find mini C. Alright, check, check out the link I sent you. What do you think of that? It's a DIY PC case. I will say I'm skeptical. No! <laughs> what is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you, sir? Uh, hey, if you want to put it on the budget, there it is. No. No, thank you, sir. Hey, what the hell is this? Something called Dark Flash DLM? It looks like the mesh if I see almost. Although I can't tell, is that actual mesh? It looks more like a 3D overlay on it. Do that. Alright. The wife must be home. I'm gonna get the Material as this entire case does throughout that's coming in at $74.99. But you might have noticed that I already built a system in here, so why don't we jump back to last night for a quick rundown of the new features. So I took a first look at the Define Mini C and...
another build today. So, um, uh, RT. Well, what do you know? A new fractal design case. Oh man, we finally get something with tempered glass. Woo! The motherboard area is depressed inside with these angular Flawless, I absolutely love the minimal style of the case. It's much smaller than my previous one and therefore it allows me to actually and as for the case in total, I got five fans, two for intake, two for the CPU tower, and one for exhaust to keep airflow in this horizontal direction. I have five PCI slots occupied and cable management for the interior is really fantastic. And behind the motherboard, the double loop belt Actually, the really saves that. the day to clean up cables fast. You don't have to spend yeah, hours on it, really 10 <coughs> minutes and that's all you need. And everything is flat to the case, so the side panel closes without any force. I do love the tinted tempered glass that has no color cast, which is awesome. It's pure black with good reflections and lighting shining through. And overall, I'm very happy with the system transition and the case downsize. Happy to report fractal. I gotta think really from going with a small uh, mini case to going with a or going with a small ATX case mid tower. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, how much am I really? How much space am I really saving from going to a mini mm -hmm. ATX? Oh, check out the link I just sent you. It looks like the mesh if I see, but I swear there's something off about it. Because if you look at the pictures for it, that front panel looks almost like it's just like a digital overlay or something. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I know they had a B450 skill legend. <laughs> Sold out. I think I remember. I I think they were actually going to be discontinuing this one. The B four fifty steel legend. I don't remember if the issue was that it was overheating or they were just trying to like you know replace it with something else. <sighs> I don't quite fully remember. Well, the MSI is the only way to go in the B450 space. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely true. Especially now that they have offset voltage on their motherboards. <sighs> Because before, it would basically just ramp up the voltage and just stay constant the entire time. <laughs> now that they have offset voltage, they basically put every other board to shape now. No, I don't want to. I will not buy a freaking Asus B450 board. Hell no. 
You are nuts. Okay, if you were gonna run an APU, um, ASUS actually has really good support for APUs. Oh, there's the mini ITX board. Okay, that I know they're definitely getting rid of. They're getting rid of the motor. They need to stop because they're good boards. Stop getting rid of good boards. Otherwise, yeah, the Tomahawk is shot up in price. Yeah, cause I was watching the, um, I think it was the uh, stream oh, no, for Gamers so. Nexus. Been, like, I think so. I've always been in, what, like, 120, hasn't it? My other option is to go X570. The X570 $200 boards are kind of nice. Like the X570 Steel Legend. don't know if I like this whole thing. Uh, the thing is, it's a very cheap fan that they have in there, and those are known to fail. And you only really need these boards if you really want PCI um, Gen 4. That's the only reason yes, that's there. but B450 boards are also shit, unless you go MSN. MSN. MSI. <sighs> so... <sighs> I'm kind of in a weird place. I don't. Should I upgrade my Tai Chi and just put my old Tai Chi in my new rig? I mean, I mean, I'm still waiting to see B550 boards. I'm going to be doing this relatively soon, within the next few months. So I don't think they're coming out with them anytime soon. I mean, I have to like hope that they're coming out like you know sometime this year. Like, I'm, I'm assuming they're gonna the hyper X five uh five seventy is gonna be around for a little while longer. I want to say maybe another month or two, and after that we'll probably start hearing about B five fifty boards. I just want to go real big dick. And be okay for the next few generations. Oh, that is actually a sexy board. Because I, I think, like, what, the cheapest um, X570 board is, like, what, between, like, uh, 160 and yeah, like 170 and 200 bucks, like depending on like who you buy from. Oh. That's just... No, Asrock, you're a horrible person. Stop it. Stop it. Just uh, stop putting... If it's not gray, white, or black, do not put it on a board. Stop it. That better be all RGB, honestly. No. This red... This red all here is... Friggin... It's part of the board. That, okay, at the very least, be able to remove that and spray paint it. <laughs> if it's not gray... Silver or white or black, don't put it on a board, people. Just, just stop. Like the Tai Chi yeah. looks good. Like all this is RGB. 
Now, I was looking at, like, bit, bit, it's in uh, Paul's video yesterday, and he was talking to one of the board manufacturers, and they were talking about, yeah, we're going to make this different colors, like blue, yellow. Like, he's like, no. Stop no. <laughs> People want color neutral so they can make, you know, their own theme for their, like, rigs and everything, not you decide for them. That's tempting. That is a really pretty board. And I mean, this would be... <coughs> it's got everything I want. It's got Wi-Fi. Uh, got pretty decent I.O. Is that a BIOS flashback? That's nice. <sighs> what did the, the one person that reviewed say? The USB-C header is blocked by the GPU in slot 1. The onboard LEDs stop working about a day in. Oh wow, he's having a but he's having the same freaking LED issues my Tai Chi board's having right now. That's what I was now, is about. this for the X570 version? Yeah, this is yep. the new $300 Tai Chi. And they're still having that same issue? Uh, yeah, GPU blocks USB-C header. RGB wow. LED software is still garbage. I can confirm. <laughs> um, See, this is why it's hard to pick a high-end board sometimes because they still have issues like this. What is he talking about? The USB Type C header. How far can I? Yeah, that kind of no. Uh, Ace. It's probably no. right under that plating. Now, uh, Asus is good this generation, right? Um, a lot of the boards have definitely been, like, you know, improved over last generation. Yeah, let's see if I can find the XYZ breakdown of an Asus board. Asus, it's See, with Asus, I'm spending at least for, like, a really nice board. At least. One with all the stuff I, like, I'm spending at least I'm not sure if that's worth three hundred dollars. I wonder. Oh, that looks so pretty. I wonder if that's worth it. See, like the high end Asus Prime boards are good. The low end ones are just complete garbage. Oh, yeah. What's a gigabyte? God. What's going to give me the best performance per dollar? Is this a mini board? 
for 219. Uh, that fan kind of worries me. It's only got two RAM slots. God. Yeah, uh, according to like Buildzoid, anything that's like under two hundred dollars for X five seventy, that all the boards are basically like interchangeable. In terms of like you know VRM and like how they perform and everything. God, I love the, I love the aesthetics on, the top end board. And yeah. so far, like you know, the Gigabyte RS boards have been like really good overclockers. It's just, I, I think, isn't that an extended board? That Yes, that is an extended board. <laughs> uh, something about that I don't like. And, and the new, like, monstrous, like, you know, um, Aura board and everything. You can't even fit it in, like, a, a regular case. You had to, like, custom make a case around it. What, the Oris Extreme? The $700 board? Yeah, I think that's it. I think you're thinking about that one Intel board. No, it's an, X5, it's an X570 board, I remember that. It's an EATX, but... Oh, God, that is so pretty. See, the thing is... I like this board because it's just so... They've stuck with the one design theme and didn't go crazy with it. They Wait, um, with... let me look at that heat sink design again. Go back. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, what? Uh, look at the top VRMs. Okay, okay. Now, if you look at the top VRMs and you follow the heat pipe to the right, yeah, goes all the way down and goes down to the uh, uh, the south bridge and everything. So this is the only one that does not have a fan on there that is passively cooled with the heating, like you know, at the top of the board. Now, it would have been nice if, like, other benefactors would have done the same thing. Just my... Azrak... How much is my board going for? Oh, wow. It's on sale for 169 bucks. I mean, if you just want to get another one of those, but it's usually two twenty nine. Thanks. I don't want to go with Asrock because they still haven't fixed their freaking issues, it seems. Asus is doing some weird stuff with their, like, V-Core VRMs and such. Wow. Like, they're, they're taking a four phase, but they're having uh, three chokes for each phase. So it's making it look like a 12 phase. Ooh. 
That's actually really nice. I'm curious on these X570 boards, is that fan like a proprietary fan, or is that something I can just buy so I can replace when if it goes bad? I don't know. I'm kind of leaning away from X570 right now. If I did replace my current board, uh, that's kind of my worry. Mm-hmm. Is the fans gonna... I guess it would definitely match my color scheme. And, but... With the Pro... Like it... With the X470 Pro being such shit last generation, it really makes mm -hmm. me worry. <sighs> Yeah, so I think it's like I'm looking at the Asus X5 Strix F Gaming, and they're not really advertising it as you know how many faces it has, but they're making it look like it has a shit ton of faces. It's still just a regular four plus two phase. Yeah. And if you're doing that on the X, on the Strix F Gaming, are they doing that on every single board? Maybe. Just don't. Right now, I don't see it worth it spending three hundred dollars on a board. I mean, like you said, pretty much like almost the only choice is just like the MSI B four fifty boards. Even like say something like the Pro Carbon. Is the Pro Carbon is nice. If I want to spend a little bit more. I if I remember correctly, this is a 5 plus 2 phase board. Real good overclocker. Yeah, because um, the Pro Carbon, the Tomahawk, and the Mortar are basically like all the same board, except like this one has five phases, while the uh, Tomahawk and the Mortar has four phases. Mm -hmm. Or I can wait until the Tai Chi goes back on sale and know I'm going to get a good board. <laughs> Except for the damn lighting issue, which is... <laughs> it's either I go with the tomahawk... Mm -hmm. Because... Tomahawk, the another Tai Chi board. See, it puts me in a weird position because B450. If I go B450, I pretty much have to go Tomahawk. Mm -hmm. Because I wouldn't trust many of the other boards. Um. That'd be my low end. It would pair really nicely with my 2600X and a 1660. Find 
Like, if only the MSI performance motherboard wasn't just, like, black and red themed. Yeah. Because, again, that's also a really good board, but then again, you're stuck with the red. This was just a really. My brain hurts right now. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna chill. Uh... And. Yeah, because. Uh... B450 or MSI. Okay. Yep. X570 MSI or Astra uh, the board I have with lighting issues probably. <laughs> um which isn't a huge deal. Cuz I'm not going to go super fancy with um my lighting and stuff this time. It's just going to be a secondary rig. I mean, if you can get it, the the mo the MSI motor is also a really good board, while it's while it's still in stock. Yeah, isn't the MSI motor isn't that a ATX or a mini a micro AT micro micro ATX? And it has been confirmed that board is basically going bye bye. So limited stock. MSI Arsenal. They're trying to br uh, brand it that and the uh, Tomahawk as part of their Arsenal brand. Why don't they? Why don't they bring these beautiful boards to MS to freaking Ryzen? Uh, <laughs> these are I know, right? Beautiful. So, some probably some kind of exclusivity deal or something. With a color? <laughs> oh, that's the B350 motor. Uh, that's the one with the very crappy heatsink, though. Go ahead and select AMD motherboards that we're not seeing the Intel ones. Yeah, fucking Intel. Intel. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Intel's actually... Uh... Okay. Uh, is this it? This isn't it. Is it? B no, I think it's the middle oh, one, isn't it? Intel. Why is he still I... showing Intel? So I can New egg, you're, New egg, you're broken. Oh, I know. Intel's having Yeah, it's the middle time. version. Yep, yeah, there you go. $163. That has it's gone from, up. Uh, it's not from... Uh, it's not from okay. the United States either. Okay, so the board's basically already gone. You can only get it from outside the U U.S. then. Uh, what about yeah. on Amazon, though? Is it still on there? Let's see. <sighs> B450. Oh, I'm not seeing it. Alright, I want to know what was wrong with the B450M, the, the ASRock board. Probably the lady. <laughs> well, between the B450 um, and the B350, they're basically the exact same board, it just has better um, memory support. Oh my god, look how pretty that is. Oh. I think the borders 
Yeah, it looks like it's pretty much gone. You can only get it from outside the U.S. because Amazon no longer has it either. You know what? I'll probably just go with this. Is the on the? I, I swear the, the way the market is right now, Amazon like they're they're a great brand and everything, but it's kind of like the you have no choice choice. It's only got five USB ports. You can always get. I already have a USB hub, so that's not a really an issue. So it's either. B450 Pro Card? Ooh. Which is that? That's the B four fifty version of the Pro Carbon. Ooh, it's going for one seventy nine. Yeah, it's not cheap. Actually, oh, that's not fair. They okay? They had. A uh, B450 motor titanium, which is basically all white and silver, and you can't get it anywhere anymore. Mm-hmm. So whoever, whoever got the B450 motor out there, you are one lucky person because you can no longer get this board. Like, MSI never really gave an official reason, I don't think, of, like, why they got rid of the Motor Series. Yeah, the... Since you can't get this board anymore, it goes for the same price as the, uh... The Pro Carbon. Now, there's two versions of Pro Carbon. The B450 version and the B470 version. That's... Yeah. X470, I mean... yeah. It's going, the B450 version's going for the same price as the X470 version. Because it's so. It's because it's. Totally. Can't find it anymore. Wow. This is shitty. Well, yeah, it's going for 179 From. Because. I actually okay. like this one better. Okay, look at the link I just sent you. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's just not fair. <laughs> there are so many people that would eat up a nice whiteboard. Alright, probably in the next 15, I'm probably going to start streaming some Brahalla. I mean, it's kind of your only choice, really. Like, either the Tomahawk, the Pro Carbon, or the, you know, t- the Azrock Tai Chi again. Because I like that, uh... I like how... The, I mean... I like the 470 Carbon. It's got Wi-Fi, doesn't it? No? I think... The B450 version does, but I'm not sure. Yeah, the B450 version. <laughs> yeah, they probably had to make some sacrifices to make, you know, the uh, x version a little better. Like, we can't cram anything else in here. We're going to have to get rid of something. 
thought it had Wi-Fi. No, just a B450 version. It, it is nice when they do, like, you know, when it does actually come up with its own Wi-Fi and you don't have to buy a Wi-Fi card. X570 Carbon. I'd probably get fucking get their own antennas for it, but. Then again, I don't want X570 because I'm not <laughs> sure about it yet. Tomahawk, Tomahawk, Tomahawk. <laughs> I mean, the Mercury has really put people in a really weird place. Huh? Yeah, this is probably my best bet, I think. Yeah, this is going to be my best bet. I mean, you're gonna put because a twenty six. Why would I? I mean, you're gonna put a. Go ahead. Why would I put get another X five seventy board for a mid range? Like it just doesn't make any sense. Or an X four seventy board for a mid range PC. For just. Like I mean, a that's secondary. true. I think I'm probably gonna go with the B four fifty tomahawk. I mean, if you really don't care, you'll get the Adhoc Pro 4. <laughs> I care a little bit more than that. I can see some naked belly behind you. Oh, sexy, man. What? <laughs> there was some behind you real quick. Yeah, just prancing your in there underwear. Like, hey, here's my stomach. I better pick this up soon. I have a feeling this is they're gonna be like, let's get they're rid gonna... of one of the only other uh, good B four fifty boards, so everybody buys X four seventy. That's probably what's gonna happen. So I feel like I need to get this soon. I'm probably going to be shit out of luck, honestly, until, like, either the end of the year or, like, tax refund season. And if I'm going to go, I'm going to go with a cheap case, if I'm going to go with a cheaper board. I mean, the X570 board, they'll probably do all right for, like, the first year, but I'd be worried about longevity with that small fan. I don't think I'm ready to be an early, early adopter on X570. No. And me, even most of the, you know, tech enthusiasts on YouTube are saying the exact same thing. There's, like, like the X570 boards are nice and everything, but it doesn't seem all that worth it to upgrade. you hear about the P600? Um, 
I don't remember too much about this case, honestly. Yeah, it didn't... I don't remember what it's... thing is. Mm, the P300 does alright. Like, it has that open ventilation at the top and the bottom, so it, it does alright on the airflow. Hermes just got the P350X. It's a nice case. But then again, if I'm going with a mid tower, mm -hmm. Either gonna go with the Define C What's the Define Nano S? Uh, it's just a small God I wish they would freaking I don't like the way they Again, put the site. It's just a small little, like, super small little box. Oh, it's adorable. <laughs> Which, if I was going mini ITX, it wouldn't be. Too horrible, but uh, Wi Fi would have to be a must. Although, if you look at the back of the case, like um, the clearance for your GPU between like um, that and the power supply is going to be really minimal. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. It doesn't have a shroud either. Yeah. It's barely going to have an inch between the power supply and the card. Excel. I don't remember this. Oh, this is one of their. I think this mm -hmm. is one of their only full tower cases. Seems like an older model. Model, oh, honestly. It is. It is. It definitely. Is. Like define like Nano S, I could only see that if you're gonna run an APU and like you're not putting a graphics card in there, yeah. or you have like a really thin graphics card. Oh, that's right, the Define S2. That one was a bit more extended, I remember that. Mm -hmm. It's an extended version of my case, pretty much. It was still pretty nice. It, it, it comes up somewhat thinner just because they extended it. And also a little shorter as well. I don't care if I glass in the fine. What? You don't need glass all over the place blocking off airflow? No. <laughs> oh, that was a pretty version of the Define R5. What is that cat doing behind you? I swear it's biting something. Cats all over the damn place here. Where's the all right. mm -hmm. Oh, that's all the Define series, so you'll have to go back. Um, here we go. 
that's two. Yeah, maybe I don't know. I think that would be a nice compromise between small, a small mm -hmm. case. That and the Mesa 5C is one sexy case. Although template, oh, technically, Gamers Nexus did fix it for them. That, that's just funny when you need a tech YouTuber to fix your own case. All right, I think I'm gonna be done here. Have to take the dog out, and I'm gonna be starting streaming here soon. What? The, what haven't you been streaming on your side? This whole thing. <laughs> well, there wasn't really anything I could really show on my side. Uh, wait. Yeah. That, and I kept having to run upstairs to deal with a toddler that wouldn't go to sleep. Wouldn't it made for a very entertaining stream? Okay, the the betting you talk to. Mine's having a freaking, I'm you know just having a freaking mental breakdown trying to figure out how to build a mid range PC in 2019. <laughs> although although the the people on fucking uh, on uh, uh, Facebook and everything they're evil because the street the streams that they like the most is the streams where the toddler runs. In and I'm like I'm completely spazzing out and trying to like control the child. Yeah. Well, I get on Brawl Hall over there. That sounds like fun. All right, that sounds good. But let me, like I said, let me take the dog out real quick. Uh -huh. Multiplayer. Although I was checking out some of the tournaments on Brawlhalla and like they are insane. Yeah. Like the type of skill like some of these pro players have and everything, it's amazing. And like so far, like the two biggest players like on Brawlhalla is uh, one dude that goes by Sandstorm and the other guy goes by Boomy. Nice. So far, Boomy has not been able to take a, the championship from uh, Sandstorm. Alright, I'll be back. Uh -huh. All right, we're back, and I think right now I'm gonna play some Brawlhalla with Aimless Geeks. How about that? Wow. Um. Yeah. So uh, if you want to go ahead and check his channel out. He'll be here in a second. He's going, doing things, you know, life outside of the computer. Um, hmm. oh, bada boom.
Oh, we'll get the game going here I'm pretty soon. Just want to... 